welcome back to The Zack and Bar's Review. Review. So, funny enough, I went to the cinema. Did you get to the cinema? And I watched Lisa Frankenstein Did you? of all things. Did you? I didn't go. Yes, you didn't go. It's another one I've missed out on. It was part of a double feature with watching Madam Web again because I decided You've to... You've watched it again? To, to, I decided to torture myself with oh, my right. friend Jack. Yeah, well, had he seen it? <laughs> he hadn't seen oh, it. Oh, well, there you That explains it. I'll let you go. We The whole point of us going to the cinema on that day was to watch Lisa Frankenstein, right, but okay. we had like a two, three hours spare, so we decided to go watch another movie. I know nothing about this movie, although Lisa I am Frankenstein. assuming Lisa Frankenstein is a comedy. It is a dark comedy where this teenager has... Her mum has been murdered. Oh, dear. Uh, and her dad and her have moved in with another kind of family, so she's got a stepsister and a stepmother. Right, okay. This is going to have friction. She's... Right? Doesn't get on with the stepmother really at That's all, <laughs> and she's kind of the oddball. She's in in, in the school, the, is she, is she the community. Um, so she's kind say, of like the nerd. Did I say emu? I mean emo. The the, <laughs> the nerdy loner. Right, no, who's yeah. just kind of. Does she wear glasses? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. Go. They, they've done that stereotypical <laughs> thing. Put the glasses on. So her favourite place to go is the graveyard, and oh. she takes particular fancy to this particular gravestone. I like graveyards. Yeah, they're pretty yeah, cool. They're very nice places. Yeah. Anyway, there is a strange lightning storm, and... She, Aha! She, she you wishes... Got, you, you got to have a strange lightning storm. She wishes she could be with this... Person uh, in the this, grave. This person in this grave, who then mysteriously gets resurrected. Ooh, what, zombified? Does he come out of the grave? You don't see him come out of the grave, he just kind of appears at the house. Oh, That's right. kind of like a... How does he know where she lives? Magic. <laughs> Lightning magic. Lightning magic. Anyway, he's more of a zombie than a Frankenstein's monster, which is okay. actually quite weird. But then it's slowly discovered that this is obviously the person that she was kind of fantasising over. Okay. Um, I mean, did she know who was in the grave? It might have been, you know. At the beginning of the... She's taken lots a of... A um, 98-year-old. What is it when you take, like, stone oh, the impressions? Bra the brass rubbing. The spine on it. There's what? Stein. Oh, it says Stein. It says Stein, and ah. the title's come up, Lisa Frankenstein. Stein, I got gotcha. you, okay. Um, and he's um, he's a former musician, <laughs> right? And but he's missing a hand and an ear and various other bits and pieces. Oh, dear. And basically, the mother, because she's kind of coming out of us, like, out of her shell, if, she, if you will, mm. uh, and lots of mysterious, like, things are happening, like, the house looks like it's been broken into, obviously, by this Frankenstein's monster, and the stepmother is kind of blaming like her past trauma as like attention seeking yeah like she's trying to get attention again from obviously from her mother's oh, murder right. okay. and causing all this destruction and mayhem and like the most petty thing like oh no my crockery has been moved, moved or like somebody, broken on the floor somebody has left the towels in a mess anyway i know somebody long so <laughs> this monster is hiding in her kind of wardrobe for a few days as you do as you do and when the stepmother comes to confront her, yep. he essentially whacks her over the head and she's dead. Oh. She, <laughs> she kills the... He, 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 he kills, kills the, the stepmother, stepmother. And they're like, oh my God. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We've got to hide the body. So they go and hide... The body? The body in, obviously, the grave where oh, right. he came out. Okay. Uh, but he cuts off the ear of the stepmother. Okay. And she stitches it to the side of his head where he's missing an ear. Right. They then use a the stepsister's sunbed, who, which is renowned for giving electric, electric shocks, shocks. <laughs> to give life to the ear. So does it start not like, twitching? It, it just the stitching becomes it. It's a, it just okay, looks like okay. an ear. A, uh, it functions, and then he can hear and things. <laughs> so Pardon. Pardon. it goes through the movie. Uh, for instance, she gets kind of drugged at a party at, towards the beginning. Oh no! Um, and then she's kind the of like out. Um, approached inappropriately, shall we say? Okay. Uh, so they go and murder that guy later on, and then take his hand. Okay. And then stitch it on. So, so they now can... we're going into kind of like a, a serial killer mode. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the tone of the movie, but somehow it's still maintaining that comedy. Oh, it's still funny. Of, it's still funny. Right. Okay. But. That's why it's like a dark comedy. Okay. And more and more, the zombie Frankenstein man is becoming more and more alive. Right, because he's got fresh bits and pieces. And it's very clear that he fancies her. Yep. But she keeps fantasising 
about this other guy. Well, some at school. At school. Ah, right, okay. And she's becoming more and more is kind he, of. Is he a jock, as they call him? Uh, she's. He's like the head of the, you know, like the the college paper or something. Right. Okay. And in that sense, she kind of becomes more and more like trendy and popular and things. Right. Does then the the the. the... Zombie man get jealous? Yes. Uh, yes. He's like, he, he, you, always, you always feel sorry for like the zombie man. He's like, oh, maybe she's going to realise that love was in front of her the entire All time. time. Uh, there's always got to be a, a lesson to be And made. then she, she decides that, right, I'm going to go over to this guy's house and... Confront him. Conf- but like, say, I love you. Uh, yeah, and um, it's more about the uh, whole intimacy part and just say, take me. Oh, take me. I want um, you now. Uh, essentially. But... When she gets there, her stepsister is there. Oh no, her stepsister, stepsister is getting the person's yes. attention Atten- in her never, yeah. never, yeah, yeah. It's like, why did you let me, you know I fancied him type oh, of effort. No. But then, jealousy strikes. the Frankenstein's monster man yep, appears. appears with a hatchet that's oh, been used to kill other people okay. throughout the movie, and a silhouette flies across the screen against the uh, wallpaper Uh he's cut off the guy's penis his penis yes chopped off his penis (laughs) is she she gonna stitch that on yes Ah! (laughs) so in the end she actually gets what she wants i hope it's worth it (laughs) she stitches the her the person she fancies penis onto the frankenstein's zombie guy zombie guy uh, <laughs> and then at the end of the movie, they obviously get it on. on. Oh dear! Before the authorities kind of catch on that. Oh no! That obviously they've been murdering people. So to get around it, she electrocutes herself to death on the sunbed. On the sunbed. Okay. It's like on ultra brown or something. Ultra brown. Um, for <laughs> then to cut to like a lake uh, lakeside shot of. The Frankenstein man sitting next to uh, her body, her, her body. in lots of bandages, oh, right. and essentially she he has resurrected her in the same instance that she had been bringing him back to life. He can now talk, right? And they're just kind of living. So she's that's where it ends. Okay, <laughs> right. How bizarre! But it was funny. So it was very okay. funny. It had lots of film references to like old school Universal monsters movies, right? Which in, it brings up this conversation that I've had with a few people, and that is, obviously they keep keep trying to bring back Universal monster films like yeah, Dracula, the, the Mummy, werewolf. Mummy several times, over and over and over again. Yep. But they never seem to land on this kind of dark, like gritty, kind of realistic, dramatic side. Mm-hmm. Whereas with the comedy edge, it kind of seems a bit more marvelized. Okay. With that comedy to make it a bit more light-hearted. Mar- Marvelize, that word? Marvelize. I'm making it on copyright Zach Wild Holland. Marvelized. Now... You heard it here first. <laughs> I think that should this prove successful, I think it's a good way to go. I reckon that if they Marvelization. Can, marvelization <laughs> of like, the Universal Monsters, uh, I think it would bring it to a wider audience and by extension make it more successful. Right, so... Lisa Frankenstein. Yeah. Out of ten. One being crap and t- ten being awesome. I'd give it probably a six. It looked very funky. It was very 80s in its style, which I really liked. We like 80s. Um, it was, well, so it was a bit... It, it was that, funny. Did it have that... And dark. Did it have that Stranger Things sort of feel to it then? 80s style. More light-hearted than that Stranger Things. I okay. But... Well, yeah, but eight, eight. It was more colourful. Okay. It was more colourful, okay, okay. less kind of toned down. More marvelised. More marvelised. <laughs> but overall, I would recommend it oh. if you're looking for something a bit different. For a, for a funny experience at the cinema, go watch it. Ugh. Would I recommend you go see it? Well, it sounds like a mid... Potentially, potentially. It's a, it sounds like a, a mid-range movie. It's a mid-range movie. It's not the best movie ever, but of my cinema experiences I've had recently, especially with The Zone of Interest, Madam Web, this was actually a breath of fresh air. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I'll wait to see it on the 
physical media. I think so. Okay. Pick it up on the cheap later on, and you know what? I'd, I'd give it another watch. And just enjoy. Yeah. Well, there you go. So that is Lisa Frankenstein. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions of further reviews you'd like to see. See you in the next one. <laughs> Brains. Brains. Brains.